was a founding member, researcher of OpenAI. And so I was there seven years ago. These are some images that are public of what it was like um, uh, working out of Greg's apartment, like eight of us. And uh, OpenAI was founded to be kind of like a counterbalance to Google. <laughs> and Google had, was like this gorilla with 70 billion free cash flow. And back then, Google employed like half of the AI research industry almost. Uh, so it was kind of like a, uh, you know, um, an interesting setup, I would say. And we were just like eight people with a laptop. So that was really interesting. And very similar to my background, OpenAI ended up exploring a large number of projects internally. We hired some really good people. And many of them like, didn't go uh, too far, but some of them really did work. And so as an example, here's a project that uh, was in an early stage, a very small snowball at, in the early history of OpenAI. Someone worked on a Reddit chatbot. And if you come by their desk and you're like, I mean, what does this look like when someone's working on a Reddit chatbot? We're trying to like, compete with Google. <laughs> and you're working on a Reddit chatbot. Like, we should be doing something bigger. Uh, and so it's very easy to dismiss these small snowballs because they're so fragile, right? These projects are so fragile in the beginning. But actually, this Reddit chatbot, and by the way, don't read too much into the specific details. These are kind of like random screenshots, <laughs> just for illustration. Uh, but this was a Reddit chatbot, and it looked naive. But actually, Reddit chatbot, what is that? It's a language model, and it happens to be trained on Reddit. But actually, you could train a, le a language model on any arbitrary data, not just Reddit. And when the transformer came out, this was spun into something that worked much better. And then the domain was expanded from just Reddit to many other web pages. And suddenly, you get GPT-1, GPT-2, 3, 4, and then you get GPT-4.0. So actually, this Reddit chatbot that was so easy to dismiss uh, actually like, ended up leading uh, and snowballing into GPT-4.0, which we currently think of as this like, change in the computing paradigm. And <laughs> you can talk to it, and it's amazing. So it's really incredible for me to have witnessed some of those, um, I guess, snowballs. And today, OpenAI, of course, is worth uh, maybe somewhere just below $100 billion or something like that. So, uh, really incredible, uh, incredible to see some of these snowballs in practice.